What if there was a formula to calculate the best chess moves inspired by one of the greatest players of all time, Bobby Fischer? Fischer's play style was characterized by precision, tactical awareness, and deep strategic understanding. While it's difficult to distill a complex game like chess into a strict formula, we can, however, create a guideline-based formula inspired by key aspects of Fischer's play. So don't go anywhere, because today, we're going to break down a step-by-step -step formula that will help you play chess like a grandmaster inspired by Fischer's legendary play style. Now I know that looks a little complicated, but don't worry. We'll break it down into simple parts. Each part of this formula represents a critical chess idea that Fischer mastered. The first part of the formula is chaos or king's safety. Bobby Fischer always made sure his king was well protected. This is simple. Ask yourself, is my king safe? If your king is well protected, add one point. If it's slightly exposed, give yourself zero. But if it's in danger, subtract one point. Next is PA, or piece activity. Fischer was a master at putting his pieces on the most active, powerful squares. Look at your pieces. Are they controlling the center or key squares? Give yourself plus one for each active piece and minus one for any pieces stuck or doing nothing. The more active your pieces are, the better. Now we look at MB or material balance. Are you ahead in material? Have you captured more valuable pieces? Fisher rarely gave up material without a reason. Subtract the value of your opponent's material from your own. If you're ahead, that's a great sign. Control the center. Bobby Fischer always made a priority to control the central squares of the board like a forward 4, a 5, and a 5. That's CCC or center control. For each central square you control, add plus one point. If your opponent controls them, take away points. Now let's talk about TT or tactical threats. Fischer was famous for spotting combinations like forks, pins, and checks before his opponent could see them coming. Can you create a threat in the next couple of moves? For each clear tactical opportunity, give yourself plus one. But if your opponent has a threat against you, subtract points. Next up is PS, or pawn structure. Fisher knew that a solid pawn structure was key to winning in the long run. If you have weak pawns, like isolated or doubled pawns, subtract one for each weakness. If your pawn structure is strong, you're in good shape. Finally, we have in the initiative. Fischer always tried to be the one pressing forward, forcing his opponent to react. If you're controlling the game and making your opponent defend, that's a huge advantage. If you're dictating the game, add plus one. If your opponent is in control, subtract one. Now let's put it all together. After calculating each part of the formula, the move with the highest total score is usually your best move. If you got a positive score, you're on the right track. If it's negative, you think your move. By following this formula, you'll start evaluating moves like Bobby Fischer. The more you practice, the quicker and more intuitive this will become. So, here's your challenge. Next time you play a game, use this Fischer-inspired formula to calculate your moves. Comment below and tell us how it worked for you.